Okay, Wes, here's the deal. What I'm thinking now, when you're turning on, what the, the symptoms you were having is when you turn on the system, it's the compressor, you were getting a high reading on this side of the compressor, about 150 PSI, and this one was going into a vacuum, and that was when it had a full charge of Freon. So its static pressures were about 90 PSI, I guess, 80 to 90 PSI, but instead of the normal 200 plus here and maybe about 40 here, you were getting zero. You were actually going negative. You actually had a, a honestly got vacuum on this side. So, what I'm proposing you do to do a test, get the Freon out of the system, do it, do the same test but with no Freon in it. Just, just leave it all completely hooked up. And just so you just have air in your system at this point. It's not the best thing in the world because you know the air has water in it, but you know, we don't worry about that too much. If you had nitrogen, it'd be better, but that's all right. So you just I just want to see, I just don't expect this to ever go into a vacuum. With air, I would expect that even since it's it's not condensing and turning into a liquid, so the you know, there will probably be a there should be a slightly higher side and a slightly lower side. I'm guessing here with just air without a uh, without a phase change of the freon. Now, if that's the case, and again, we're trying to make sure this vacuum doesn't happen. If you get if you still get a vacuum when you do that, I would propose go to the firewall connection and just disconnect the line here. Okay, if that was now if the compressor is operating like a normal compressor, what's going to happen? I'm I'm guessing is there shouldn't be any, hardly any vacuum right here at all because it's just atmospheric pressure, right? But you should still see a slight increase of, of a vacuum over here. Or if you if you put your finger on the other side of that firewall, you know, basically block off the, uh, yeah, that's what you can do. Break this connection, take your finger and plug off that right there on the on that side of the, of the um, evaporator at the, at the firewall. And you should be able to build pressure here and still no vacuum because again this hose is open to the outside air if you start getting a vacuum in here my guess is that there's some kind of blockage maybe the hose is collapsing or something's going on right in this area that's shutting down this hose that's allowing this vacuum to develop that's my idea anyway let me know